Hey everybody, Brando here. Thanks for checking out this Transmedia Quick Tip where I show you how to reverse a clip in Caden Live version 20. If that's something you'd like to do, then stay tuned because that's what I'm going to do to show you how to do. So let's get to doing and do this. Once in Caden Live, select a clip you'd like to reverse. In my case, I have this animation where my logo moves in the upper direction. To better illustrate this effect, I'm going to make a copy of the clip and I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to set some zone points so we can loop this. As you can see, it moves up, and then the next clip starts right back from the bottom again. I'd like to reverse this second clip, so when it goes from the top, and then it goes back down. I was looking for this functionality the other day, but gave up after a couple minutes of not being able to locate a reverse feature in compositions and effects. I found out how to reverse a clip by accident while editing another screencast. I had forgot that I even remarked on it being odd, the reverse feature being included in the chain speed settings. So that is where you find the reverse feature. To get to the change speed settings, right click on your clip, go to change speed. There you go. Reverse clip right there. When reversing a clip, make sure the speed is what you want. I just want to reverse this clip, so I'm leaving the speed at 100%. Click OK. That looks promising. It's up there at the beginning of the frame. Let's see how this plays out. Goes up. And comes back down. Caden Live doesn't perform so well in real time with some of these transitions, but you get the gist of it. To better illustrate how this looks in real time, let's render this out. Okay, the render's finished. Let's see what we got. It goes up. And down. That works for me. So that's how you reverse a clip. Thanks for checking out our video, and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe. Thanks, and have a great day.